Hi everyone, welcome back to the Learning with Girls Inc. YouTube channel. My name is Miss Subi and today we're going to be talking about coding. Coding is something that we don't think about very often, but it's actually really important in all of our lives. I want you to look around your room and think about what kind of technology you have in there. It might be a phone or an iPad that you're watching this on, or maybe a computer or a gaming console. All of the programs that run on these devices are made up by code. So coding is basically the language that we use to talk to computers. It's a way for us to tell computers what to do. Code can basically be made up with numbers, with words, and some codes even just use the numbers zero and one. But these codes are what allow us to do all these fun things that we do on our phones and on the internet. And all of this might be a bit confusing, so I'm going to show you a small activity that you can do to maybe help you understand coding just a little bit better. All you're going to need for this activity is a pencil or some sort of writing utensil, a paper, and then plastic cups. It doesn't necessarily have to be plastic cups, it could maybe be Legos or, you know, colored candy or something, but just something that you can organize into either a pattern or a structure. Alright, so to make a code, first we're going to write an algorithm, basically. So an algorithm is instructions or steps that a computer can understand. Um, a human parallel to an algorithm would be a recipe for baking a cake or cookies or maybe a method that you use in school to add or subtract. So we're going to be creating an algorithm for a cup tower. First we're going to make our code. So we're going to have a symbol associated with each instruction. So let's do a circle with colored in black as our symbol for placing our first cup. You can do any symbol you want as long as you understand it. For placing a cup upwards, we're gonna do a circle with an arrow. For placing a cup to the left, a circle with an arrow facing left. For placing a cup to the right, a circle with an arrow facing to the right. We always need to start with the first, the start of the code. So our start of our code is placing our first cup. You can create your cup tower however you want. Um, I'm gonna do one cup to the left, another, and then a couple more to the left. All right. So if you think about it, this will be my first line of cups. Then to get to the next level, we're gonna place a cup upwards above these cups. And then I'm going to place my cups to the right. Now remember that you're doing the code in order. So if you place a cup to the left, it would fall because there's nothing under there. So you wanna make sure you're considering your previous code because it's not like you can skip back and forth. The code is just in the order that you write it. So we're gonna place a couple cups to the right. And then another cup upwards. I'm gonna place one to the left, that arrow, and then one more upwards. So now we're gonna build this code out with our actual cups. So I'm gonna be placing the cups in the way that you see them in the code right here. So first we have one cup. We have one, two, three, four, five cups to the left. So we'll place those, not to my left, but to your left. All right. And then we have a cup going to the top. And then we have four cups to the right. One cup to the top, another to the left, and then one cup. And this is the cups as written by our code. So another way that you could show coding is through making a pattern. For this code, I'm going to use numbers to represent the symbols that we're gonna draw. So for a zero, we're gonna draw a little eye. For a one, a heart. And for a two, a star. So my code is gonna be written as zero, one, zero, two, zero, one, two. And then we just follow this code to draw out our pattern. Okay. 
So I hope this activity gave you kind of a better idea of how coding works and I hope you had fun doing it. There's tons of other ways to practice coding. There's lots of websites online or apps for your iPads that you can use to practice coding to make your own games and tons of other fun stuff. So I'm gonna link those in the description. And you should definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos from the Girls Inc. team. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye.